Hello there, this video is to help algorithmic traders configure and set up their C-bots that run on a C-trader or C-algo platform. They're also are hosted on a virtual private server. So in other words, um, we're going to help you manage your uh, VPS, your, VP, your virtual private server to run your C-bots on to make sure you've got enough RAM, which is read access memory. Because um, when a lot of people set up or they purchase a VPS, they don't, they're not sure how much RAM they need from the start. And they also don't need to how to configure the or how to set up the server once it's running so they don't use too much or utilize too much uh, memory when it's actually running. Um, we've actually got various pl places in the website to find out more about virtual private servers. We've got one here on this link services, tells you more about virtual private services. And there's a video which helps you to choose a virtual private server. You can watch the video there. Um, and the, it explains why it's a good idea to host your automated strategies on a virtual private server. Mostly because of the fact that if you do it on your local PC, you could have updates occurred, it could do a reboot, you could have a power cut, your server could cut down, it could be, you know, any one of these things, the internet could shut off. Virtual private servers are pretty much pretty resilient. Um, they're, they're really managed well by other people, so you don't have to do anything, it's a separate machine. And um, they're pretty cheap these days to run, actually. You can get them, you know, quite low. The one thing that is expensive, though, is the RAM. So when you can choose your configuration on your VPS, you'll notice that the cost of the RAM is quite a lot. It's just a random one I've got here. Uh, two gigs of RAM is, say, 10 euros. But if you just want four gigs of RAM, it's 25 euros. So you can see the difference in RAM and in the price. And a lot of people don't need that excess RAM. Um, if you can afford it, then yes, go for it. Get the excess RAM. But at the same time, you might want to watch this video anyway because you want to reduce the amount of RAM that's being used. Then you need to. You might ask yourselves why... I've got it down here actually. Why do you feel that um, it's important that you don't want to run out of RAM? So here it explains what happens when your computer runs out of RAM. In other words, what happens is um, read out the, the actual RAM that's on your machine that you buy from the little RAM cards, they're very fast. The random access memory is super fast. So it actually reads and writes very quickly and that's what you want on your machine. When this runs really low, it starts writing and reading to your hard drive on your PC. And when that occurs, your whole PC will just go sluggishly slow, go very slow. And if you're executing trades, there could be delays. So you don't want your PC to run out of RAM anyway. You want it to be um, fast and efficient, especially if you're dealing with um, financial money like this. So this website here um, explains a manage, many, bleh, memory manager uh, utility. It's an application that runs on Cialgo or Ctrader. It actually manages your memory to stop it um, exceeding certain limits so it stops you running out of RAM really. It flushes down the memory just in the Ctrade or Ciago platform itself. It doesn't affect anything else on your operating system. Um, mostly because the platforms accumulate garbage memory and this memory just hangs on in there. It doesn't do anything and slowly by slowly this just gets more and more and I have noticed that uh, Spotware or Ctrade they've definitely made it much better now, much better memory management so it clears it down and flushes it but, but they cannot control people that write algorithms and these algorithms are not written in a correct way or they're memory hungry and they just eat away at the memory so they don't they can't they've got no control over that really um, but generally you want to keep your memory low so I'll show you in a minute why this is very important so you can access this page here under software Ctrader software Cbot or utility applications um, and you'll be able to download a trial version just to run it for 15 days at the moment we're only selling it for 9.99 um, you can download and install it and see what it's like so straight away, what I'm going to do is show you a virtual private server that I'm using currently. Um, it's a pretty standard Windows Server 2012 release 2. It's only got 1.8 gigs uh, processor, 64-bit, 2 gigs of RAM. I would prefer more RAM, really. I don't think 2 gigs is really enough, but it seems to be enough for what I'm using this for on this server, for this one in particular. So what I'm going to show you is this is just using um, box standard examples that Ctrader put on the platform when you first install it. So they're not big, they're a few lines of code um, and they're very small. So they shouldn't be memory hungry, but you can see it's already gone above one gig. Okay, And I've made it go above one gig because the whole reason this tool was developed was on my VPS server, I like doing the back testing. Um, I like back testing my strategies on a regular basis and leaving that running while I'm getting on with my other work because it's a dedicated machine and I don't want to be having to do it on my local machine and then put on a cloud server the Cbot set and then download the cloud server the Cbot set onto my virtual machine and then actually um, you know do it that way because it's just too too much time consuming so I like the fact that I can do it on my local machine so uh, sorry on the VPS so in this case on here 
I've just run some back tests, some very basic back tests, and every time I've run a back test, it didn't clear the memory down. Okay, the memory just goes up, which means that it's just junk data, it's garbage data that's being held in there. Sorry about that, I think I've got um, trades going on, you might hear it popping in the background. So you can see the memory's popped, popped up now to 1132, and it's gone back down again. So they have got some kind of inbuilt memory management that flushes it away, but it's still in, it still continually increases, it continually increases over time. So the idea behind it is you can just click on this button here to manually boost the memory down. So if you're doing back tests or optimization on your VPS, um, and you, 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 you probably won't not even aware, you're probably not even aware that your memory or your RAM is getting high and it could be even at a dangerous point. You don't, you're not aware, you can't see it. Unless you actually right click down here, go to task manager and actually look in here to see what's going on. Okay, you're not gonna know. So having this tool, it'll actually show you at a glance what's going on. And uh, if you do run back tests or optimization, you just clear that junk memory, you get rid of that junk memory, you just flush it away at the end of it. And then you let your robots run in the background. Another thing, another tip really is, if you're using especially Google Chrome uh, with extensions, all these extensions are loaded and Google Chrome uses up a huge amount of memory. So whether it's Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you're using, you really wanna be um, closing down all of the browsers before you start working. So these browsers use up a huge amount of memory as well. So as a tip, um, when you start your C algo application on your VPS, delete or shut down all applications that are running, anything that's running in the background, because this uses up valuable memory. Because the two gigs of memory will get used up really fast. <clears throat> and then what we've got at the top here is auto boost. Now what this means is, this allows you to be away from your machine, and you know that if uh, the C Trader platform starts using an excessive amount of memory, you can flush that memory down automatically. Um, also, if the free memory drops below 20%, it goes red, just goes red. If it drops below 10%, it actually does an auto flush automatically. So if the memory on your server drops below 10%, instead of start, the machine starting to suffer, it will flush away junk, junk data. Um, so you've got a few ways of actually managing your memory there. So there's another tool to help you decide how much RAM you want to use. And this is the, um, what it does every day, it creates a CSV file, comma delimited, uh, on a daily basis, and it'll actually show you um, each time there was an auto boost. So it'll show you each time that the memory was auto boosted. Um, there's a few here that have been created because I've got Excel on this machine, if I just open it up. What you can do then, you can actually look historically, say over a period of a month, and see where it's the memory has been maxing most. And you might notice that it might have been flushing memory on a regular basis, and you don't want that occurring. So you can just then think, okay, I'm, I'm flushing the memory down, I'm closing all my applications, but it's still, it's still auto boosting more than it should. Then you need to go out and buy some more RAM. Um, if you feel it's only doing it, say, once every two weeks or once a week, then you don't need to buy more RAM. It's, it's working perfectly, so you can save yourself some money. And you can do some nifty things, obviously, in Excel. You can just get rid of those two columns. You can just insert graphs and stuff. So you can actually... I'm going to have to select my data if this doesn't do it first time. And then I have to select... There you go, you have to select the data. So you can choose graphs and you can put the graphs on there and you can just have a look to see um, over a period of time if the memories get worse, better. And it'll give you, like I, get, I said, it'll give you some idea um, if you do need to buy more RAM or not. That's a, definite, that's a very useful feature because you can, you can analyze the data and see exactly what's going on. Um, the other thing is I wanted to show you is some people like to have, this is another server, some people like to have two instances of Cialgo running at the same time. So on this server, I have got two instances, instances, sorry. I've got one here and one here. And the reason is I've got different accounts. So I'm monitoring the performance of different strategies on different accounts. So you can see there, they're both, one's using 682 megabytes of RAM, one's using 841. Um, they both auto flush at 1000 or one, near enough one gig. And it tells me I've got 25% free memory. Um, so again, that's a very useful feature to have if you're going to run multiple um, instances of Cialgo at the same time. And again, if I go back to the original <coughs> server, which only got two gigs, um, if I opened up another version of Cialgo, this will start eating away at a lot more memory. So two gigs, I don't think, is anywhere near enough to run two instances of Cialgo at the same time. Unless you, run, you use this tool and you are flushing memory down. 
So you might find it useful there. <clears throat> so that's about it. Um, so generally, it's a tool to um, assist you from running out of memory. I mean, I'm using my one. See, it's gone down to 14%. When it gets to 10, it'll do an auto flush. Um, and then you can run the other. I don't think I said this at the start. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I can't see my memory manager object. Okay, never mind. So then you can actually to run this, you just run it from here. It's just like a C bot. So when you download it from the website, it's got full instructions. You just click on the play button and it just actually just runs the, the module like this. Oh, it's just done an, has it done an auto flush? No, it hasn't yet. It's 17%. So there you go. I hope that was useful. And um, if you're interested, just come and have a look at it at the site. Thank you.